Welcome to our home. This is National Park Week. We're going to visit Olympic National Park in northwestern Washington. The part I like the best, I think, is the whole rainforest, which is a little part of the south part, which is one of the wettest parts. It kind of reminds me of Florida in a lot of respects and the, the swamp. I was using my 8x10 when I, you know, when you use 8x10, when you're getting up close like this, these these ferns, I'm, I'm trying to look underneath of them, and I had to use F64. And the F stop, I, with F stop with F64, I think my shutter speed was four minutes. So these things could not move, no wind. So it took several shots to get, get the way I wanted it. Because I was using 100 ASA film, uh, T-Max 100. It's very slow and reciprocity failure. It gives, it gives it a real challenge. Walking around in the whole rainforest, you, you, it's just full of ferns and, and kind of dead stuff, organic. It's really, really fun to explore. You can find all kinds of neat stuff. Then when you get into the northern part, you get into more of the trees uh, in the mountains. And they are really magical with all the moss and uh, just really very weird. But it's kind of, it's very, it's very unusual. So it's, it's really a, a great place to get something that's very different than Florida. When I'm walking through the, the, the forest up in the, up, the, up in the mountain area, the northern part of the, of the park, the trees are a little bit more open. And I, I saw this one shot, I wanted to look up. It gave you a feeling of just how cascading upward. It looks like it's it's a photograph with infrared film, but it's just because of the long exposure and reciprocity failure that creates that illusion. It isn't, it isn't it's just, just plain old, plain old T-Max 100. In the other places that you go, there's other places that are not like that, that have more moss on them. And those kind of remind me of Florida, our, our front swamp. In our front of our gallery, it kind of reminds me of that. But also, there's one of the places that, of course, I'm in the, I love water. So we had to do the beaches. The beaches are named by numbers. So we're on number two beach, and the water up there is not like the water here. It's colder. But you've got to get in the water and get that feeling of being there. So I'm in the water, taking this photograph, and the surf coming in. But you got, it's just like Florida, you have to be in the element to get a good photograph. There's other places that are like, remind me of Big Sur, which the, the rocks uh, are more rocks and the breaking water and the cliffs. But that, that's an interesting place to photo too. You'll see a lot of kelp there. If you want to photograph kelp, you'll see a lot of dead kelp in the water. It washes up with the tides. Then there's number three beach which is really probably most photographers photograph. It's, it's basically these giant rocks out there. They're uh, pinnacles. And they, some of them are so big, they're kind of like little islands. And those, that's very fun because in the, in the springtime, when the water is, is smooth, it comes in gentle, it makes these really great reflections. You can get some very exciting things. On the way out, we found this lake, it's called Crescent Lake, and the light was just fantastic. Now we're shooting with the 8x10 camera for all this two or three weeks, and Nikki and I have got this thing down pretty good where she can get the ground, grab the camera out of my backpack, grab the lenses. So we were able to put this shot together, put the camera together, and take the picture, put an orange filter on in about five minutes. Normally it takes about 15 minutes, but we were so coordinated that we got this shot. And it, as soon as we finished it, the light was gone, it was dead. In 10 minutes it was gone. Sometimes you've got to be quick. That's what's kind of like nice about having that smaller camera, but large format takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of time. 
So, we're going to go tomorrow, our next national park. See you then.